I'm extremely delighted to be with you today as part of our contact and sensitization drive of our impacts, conflict mitigation, and peace building projects in the state of Kaduna, Bochi, Nasara, and Taraba. I want to also thank our dear host for accepting to meet with the delegation of Ariwari Forum in this historic building. Despite of the tight schedule, so we are in deep crisis. Thank you very much. May I use this medium to congratulate the Inspector General of Police on the visionary and selfless leadership you have been offering to the gallant Nigerian Police Force. The giant strike and remarkable achievement accorded from your assumption of office today is commendable. Congratulations. We wish to commend you for the various operational reforms you have introduced aimed at making our police force to rank high among its other global counterparts to be able to carry out effective state police investigations. Our visit today is consistent of our desire to visit your respective office, brief you on our activities, and lend our support to the ongoing peace effort of the Nigerian Police Force, especially as we march toward the 2015 general election. We shall also use this visit to confer on you an exemplary leadership award for your uncommon integrity, patriotism, and professionalism. Decorate you as one of our grand patrons, as one of our own. The two exercises will be carried out in full recognition of your selfless and tireless effort to ensure reforms in the Nigerian Police Force with an open operational door police and also in line with the tradition of the poor. Sir, the conflict mitigation and peace building project CMPCB in the pilot state of Kaduna, Bochinasa and Taraba, which have passed an immediate history of conflict violence, is an initiative of our great organization. Expected to run for the period of one year, starting from October 2014 to end in September 2015. This unique project model is our humble contribution to the federal and state government's effort aimed at addressing the insecurity and peace building challenges faced in the northern Nigeria and the country at large. It is also proposed to provide a community framework for healing conflict mitigation and to offer assurance to the citizenry that the immediate and remote causes of these problems were have been tackled from the communal level. Our desire to be here today is in the view of the fact that the Nigerian Police Force and, the call of, and of course your office is key to the success of this project. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture I am happy to state that the project has fully commenced. As I am talking to you, sir, presently, the project management team are in four states supervising the community dialogue in 12 communities. The opening ceremony for the trainer of facilitators who will in turn train other community actors took place this January in Bauchi and was declared open by His Excellency the Executive Governor of Bauchi State, Mali Isayibuda. I, I am also happy to state that as we make this visit today, all the 12 centers in the selected state have commenced, as I said earlier. The attached to this visit, Ariway Forum have arranged for some members of the project management team to be in attendance at the ongoing season. It is expected that data generated at this season will further help on the issue of community policy, harmonious coexistence. Key objective of the ongoing project includes, but are not limited to enhance the state government intervention and effective engagement with community groups peace building, conflict mitigation, work towards changing how people perceive and react to issues related to the religion and communal conflict and its efforts on the community, strengthening the capacity of existing and community structures to promote peace and local socio-economic development, promote full inclusiveness and effective participation of community groups in the state and federal government peace efforts and to reassure residents in the affected states as well as other parts of the northern Nigeria on the government capacity to maintain peace, thereby making the state and indeed the country at large the destination of our choice for investments. 
While I wish to conclude this address by once again thanking you for accepting the, to receive us, I wish to, and on behalf of the National Executive Council of Aliwa Forum, equally seek for your full support, guidance, and cooperation of the Inspector General of Police as we embark on this golden project that is designed to bring back our age block peace and harmony that our dear communities and people have known. And thank you very much. On behalf of the executive members, the patrons of IOA report to put across uh, the areas of the northern part of the country. The Islam Library Leadership Award presented to an industry in Manhapa, CFR, MNI, Inspector General of Police for your uncommon integrity, patriotism, and professionalism presented by Ariel for the day 28, January 2011. Yes. Welcome to News Edit House, the Nigeria Police Headquarters. It is indeed very warming when you see the young ones identifying with the fight against crime. And you will agree with me, the police exist mainly to prevent crime, to maintain law and order, arrest offenders and prosecute them as may be necessary. I think there is no better friend than the one who has identified himself with the maintenance of law and order. So I'm happy, I'm glad to receive you, and I find receiving you this afternoon very, very encouraging indeed. My colleagues and I have cause to be joyful because we have partners who are true friends in achieving our objectives. Our objectives remain the same and as clearly spelled out in our vision, will continue to be a national police, will continue to make every effort to be efficient and to be professional so that we'll be able to discharge these responsibilities to the satisfaction of not only the public on whose sweat we get paid, but also to the government who was elected to lead us and I believe will continue to support us in that regard. Let me seize this opportunity to inform you that every effort are being made to ensure that the strategies we have put in place for us to have credible and peaceful election in 2015 are being implemented. It may not be comfortable for me here to highlight the strategies, but permit me to highlight the one that I feel comfortable in telling you. We have concentrated a lot of efforts to make sure that our officers and men understand what the electoral process is all about. We have sensitize our officers and educate them for them to know their roles in the electoral process itself. We are doing a lot to make sure that the men and the officers know what the provisions of the laws regarding election are all about. They understand what the laws are and they also understand the process of enforcing those laws. We have done a lot to 
sensitize our colleagues with whom we've been collaborating, particularly in the ICES, the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security, which in the state commands are headed by the commissioners of police jointly with the resident uh, commissioners. My happiness is that it is every one of us can be can be a witness to the fact that the commissioners of police have done a lot to live up to the expectations in strengthening this ISIS. They have also done a lot in sensitizing members of the public on how best to collaborate with the security agencies to have violent free elections in 2015. And we have continued to also collaborate with the election managers, that is the Independent National Electoral Commission, not only in conducting workshops, seminars, and uh, meetings, so that we have better understanding of what the roles are, and then in how best to assist the managers in conducting the elections. We have also been collaborating with other stakeholders, including the politicians, the political parties that have presented the candidates. We have been collaborating with the Nigeria Bar Association and many others. My happiness is that the youth, and in particular, the Arewa Youth Forum has decided to join in this collaborative effort. Just last week, I had cause to meet with the executive at the national, zonal, and state level of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, whom we believe are serious stakeholders with regards to the non-violent elections in 2015. I think perhaps if the youths if the youth decide to take, to heed to our advices, the youth will take the lead in making sure that the 2015 elections are violent free. I'm saying this because when you look at the futures of our elections, particularly the negative futures, you will see that it is because the politicians can find, exploit, and misuse the youth. That is why the level or the apprehension for violence is there, even in the 2015 elections. If the youth will refuse to be used, exploited by the politicians, I believe the politicians will have nothing to do than to accept to play the game according to the rules. So my first request to you all is to please sensitize your members to resist the temptation of being used or being mobilized as talks in the 2015 general elections. We have through various efforts, been able to identify and even arrest. And believe you me, these arrests have been going on for many, many months. Because as soon as I took over the leadership in August last year, one of the things I directed the commissioners of police to do was to start conducting raids of flashpoints to make sure that uh, thugs or suspected thugs are arrested and prosecuted. In some cases, prosecution may not be required. Some are only bonded and allowed to go about their lawful duties because the purpose of the law itself is not just to punish, but to correct. So I urge you to extend this request uh, in making sure that the youth do not allow themselves to be used as talks. 
I also want to request you to assist us in strengthening one of our tools in repositioning the police. That is the community policy. Community policy mainly encourages partnership between the residents and the police. Mm -hmm. This partnership is such that it will result into mutual benefit. Give us the information about plans to commit crime. Give us information about persons planning to commit crime or involved in the commission of crime. Give us information about suspicious objects and so on that may cause harm to members of the public. And then we will, in a professional manner, be able to deal with the situation. By the time this partnership matures, it will even naturally graduate to a situation where you will even tell us how best to police you. And we are getting a lot of cooperation from even the international community. Some of the embassies, uh, for example, the, that of the UK and the United States, Germany and so on, uh, as well as other agencies, the UNDP, and others have all been involved in assisting us to make sure that our community policy uh, efforts see the light of the day. So I urge you to become serious partners in these efforts. One of the ways, of course, you can do it uh, is to join the membership of the community, Police Community Relations Committee. And uh, from there, perhaps, you will graduate into leadership of these efforts. I want to use this opportunity to say that the Nigeria police will continue to take the youth, not only as partners, but we also know that as future leaders of this nation, we will support you in every respect so that you achieve your desired goals. I cannot conclude without assuring you that every effort will be made to make sure that groups like your own are also encouraged to follow suit, to learn from the manner in which you've been conducting yourselves. You have, within the shortest period of time, made a name, made a mark, and you are admired by a lot of Nigerians, and I want to say that the Nigeria police is one of those organizations that will continue to hold very high esteem. I want to thank you most sincerely for finding me worthy to be amongst the advisors of the forum. I assure you that at any given time, I come across what is important for you. I will let you know. I also hope that you will heed to the advice I gave to collaborate with us in fighting crime 